I'm Aaron, this is Kiara, and we've been travelling around Southeast Asia for the last four months. Right now, we've travelled to Bali, but Bali is absolutely full of influencers and content creators that do videos about Bali all the time, so we've decided to join the crowd, and this one will be just another Bali video. We're also doing this video to give you guys an update, because we have spent 45 days in Vietnam, and we actually came to Bali one month ago, but after travelling through Vietnam, we were tired. So we actually didn't film anything or did much at all for three weeks. Four weeks. But we had an amazing time. We spent three weeks in Changu and it's an awesome place. We've met up with some friends, met some incredible new people. Everyone is so lovely there. We really enjoy spending time with the locals, other digital nomads. We even learned a few words in Indonesian and we absolutely had a great time there. We also just spent four days in Gili Rawangan. If you have never been there, it's a small island, one hour boat ride from Bali. There are no cars there. You have a beautiful tropical beach, free movie on the beach every night, popcorn, great food. We had an incredible time, so if you come to Bali, you definitely need to visit Gili Rawangan. So today we're going to rent a scooter and get out of here as fast as we can and going to visit a little bit of Bali inland. We are trying to find a proper scooter rental, not just a guy, random guy on the side of the road who's trying to rent you a scooter. We found one on Google Maps, so hopefully it's legit. I love how green Bali is. Look at all the flowers and all the frangipani trees and we are in the middle of Huta. Rent bike and laundry. Do they have scooters? Hello. Hello. Oh, oh. You want to rent bike? Yes. yes please. For how many days? Just about one. One. Yeah. One, day. one day. If you rent it for about one day it could be 125,000. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. is that a good thing? Yeah, it's fine. Only yeah. one day, right? Yeah. This one is 150,000. Yep. Eh, 150, 150 cc. Yep. So our scooter do not have insurance. It will be fully responsibility of anything. Mm -hmm. so is that okay for you? Yeah, it's fine. I think so. I will be very pleasantly surprised if we get back home alive tonight. We have been in Bali for one month and we never seen the rain until the day we decided to rent a scooter. We got five minutes into an hour long scooter ride and then it started bucketing down. And we uh, stopped somewhere to take shelter out of the rain because we were getting wet and it wasn't very pleasant. And now it looks like it's going to stop, but for how long I don't know. So we might jump back on the bike pretty soon and try and make it to our destination without falling off. Okay, we try again. This is the result of five minutes of rain. I think it's safe to say that the drain system doesn't work very well in Bali. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> no, I'm good, thank you. Go away! <laughs> that's awesome. Maybe better not wrap him around my neck. <laughs> Hello. I don't like this. <laughs> you want? Hey. You want? No. We just to come bus. Look at that one. Hold oh, it. Okay, I will hold it. This is a great idea. This is a horrible idea. I'm not the mix, yeah. Okay. Oh, you want on your shoulder? Yes, yeah, on the shoulder. Wow. <laughs> like baby. <laughs> What's his name? Her name? The name is Iggy. Iggy? Iggy. Why would you go to see the boss? That's okay. <laughs> All done? Like baby. <laughs> Big baby. What is it? Iggy. Iguana. 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 Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's so weird. You finish? Okay. Can I have her back? Oh. Hello. Hello. You want to come up? Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh. Uh, it's a favorite part. Oh, good puppy. Where are you going? She's going to say hello. <laughs> she likes me. <laughs> she wants to come back to me. <laughs> I will accompany you go around. Okay. So if you have any question, you can ask me. Okay. 
Yeah, we have a three monitor lizard here. This one is from Jawa. We call it clouded monitor. Mm -hmm. And this one Sumbawa water monitor. Yeah. Okay. This one you can find it also in Bali. Yeah. Uh, they live in the river, in the rice field sometimes. You can find it. It's so wonderful. Yeah, this oh. one sometimes they just across the road also. Okay. Safu python from Safu Island. Yeah, they can grow till two meter maximum. Mm -hmm. yeah, this one. They have a white color in their eyes, yeah. Different with uh, another python eyes. This one already three meter. That's a big boy. This one is from Jawa. He looks angry, too. The biggest poison snake or venomous snake in the world. Yeah, yeah they're also from Jawa. Yeah, they always try to attack people. Yeah. Yeah, king cobra. So they are a cannibal animal. So mm -hmm. here we feed them with snake. Yeah, they can eat each other. Yeah. yeah, they can eat each other and they can eat others. And for this size, yeah, we feed them with chicken. Chicken. Uh, they can eat three, uh, two or three chicken every week. Wow. wow. So, so we feed them once a week. You see the rainbow in the in the sky. Yeah. 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 He gets out. It's every man for himself. Yeah, this is a komodo dragon. Wow. He is big. Coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's shy too. Uh, this coming. This one already mm -hmm. seven years old right yeah. now. Yeah, and already one point seven meter, I think, right now. Will they get bigger? <laughs> yeah, three meter maximum. Three meters. Three meters. Wow. This is a small one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. need a big one. They can run really fast also till twenty five <laughs> kilometer per hour, right. and they can smell blood till five kilometer. Right. Wow. But do they attack humans? Possible they can attack humans. Yeah. Mm, yeah, because in Komodo Island they can eat buffalo, they can eat oh, cow, wow. buffalo. Can, yes. Wow. Indonesia or Australia? You yeah. can find it in Indonesia and Australia, yeah. But this one is from Indonesia. Where in Indonesia? Uh you can find it in Jawa, in Sumatra, in Borneo also. Yeah. yeah but not in Bali. <laughs> okay. Because we don't have a big river. Yeah. yeah. So we just have a small river and they don't like to live in the small river. But it's Some, salt water, yeah? Yes, yeah. salt water. Sometimes they just live uh just moving on the tr uh beach. Yeah. Yeah, maybe to go to another island. Okay. It's a petting area, you can pet the animal inside. This one tegu lizard. This one rhino iguana. Right. What was that one? Tegu. Tegu. Yeah, that one from Argentina, this yeah. one from America and you can find it also in Caribbean. Wow. What was this what was this one, sorry? Rhino iguana. Rhino iguana. Yeah, we call it rhino because they have a horn like yeah. rhinoceros. Is that bone? Is this bone? Yeah, you can touch it. Oh, no, that's, that's not bone, that's really. Hello. 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 That's cute. You are one party one now. Ah, you know what I am, yes. Show a little bit of you. Oh, wow, it's big. It's heavy. <laughs> From Indonesia? Uh, no, this one from Brazil. Brazil. Yeah. Okay. This is a tortoise, yeah. So tortoise, they just live on the land. Yeah. Yeah. They cannot swim in, and they have a big legs like this. Yeah. Yeah. Not flat. After seeing all the snakes that they have here in Indonesia, Australia suddenly seems like a very safe place. This was fun. I think you knew a lot about all the reptiles. We are getting kidnapped. We are getting by bigger now. A local wants to show us his uh, do what coffee. By the way, that was the reptile park. It was really fun. We were the only tourists there, which was the best. That's it. It happened. We officially got back bigger now. Now we need to drink a coffee. Uh, this one hurts. Uh, okay. <laughs> by uh, the luwak mm -hmm. to make the luwak coffee. Yep. And then the next process will be digested by them, fermentation, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. comes out like a, a cook. Yep. The animals or a luwak are very picky. Yeah. <laughs> Even though like this one, red one, yeah. looks so good. They will smell it first yeah. before they eat it. So if the taste 
is not uh, like good for it for them. Yep. They will That's spit it no. out. <laughs> That's a no. They won't. <laughs> this is the first skin. Mm -hmm. So coffee bean has to layer. Mm -hmm. This is the outside, and then the white one. This is the second one. That's the actual coffee bean. Yeah. Yeah. And then roast. And then roast. I'd love to show you the poo. Toby's poop. Does it look like poop? <laughs> Tidy. That we collect in the jungle every morning, like this one. It looks like this one. Yep. So after this, must be washed. Yeah. With hot water, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until three times, and then we try it yep. one week. And the coffee bean stay intact because the animal doesn't have a good digestion to digest mm -hmm. everything. Dry. After dry. And then wash. Yep. Yeah, that's the result. And also, we have some ingredients. Pepper, the pepper, white and black, cinnamon, cinnamon, vanilla, vanilla pods. Yeah, and this one to make vanilla coffee. Yeah, get that vanilla. Mm. Have a sniff. Mm. It sounds so scary. we have to uh, dry it under yeah. the sun to make the smell it on the yeah. powder. Yeah. So we have two different. Yep. Coffee, blue light, and, 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 uh, the bulk. Mm -hmm. and then you can come back. You can smell it first. It's not like coffee. coffee. And then mm -hmm. you can compare. Yeah. Right. Okay. And then the special one. Alright. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. Like uh, not as sharp. Mm. Yeah. So for the Bali coffee, the, from the taste is uh, stronger than the Luwak. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and also bitter. Yeah. Bitter, yeah. And has uh, high caffeine. Yeah. While the luwak, the caffeine, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. bitter, strong as the Bali coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's a rosella. This is uh, fruit. Yes. That will be processed to make a herbal tea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, like herbal thing. Rather? This uh, a mangosteen. Mangosteen. Mm -hmm. Mangosteen. <laughs> <laughs> we use. Uh, the outside, the pill. Yeah. Uh, to make tea, we try it first, yeah. and then we grind it until it become powder. Interesting. And mm. it contains uh, some benefit, especially good for skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Prevents cancer. I can't smell anything. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then we have the rosella. Yeah. I have grind these. Ah, this is the rosella. Yeah. And this is the plant, the flower. So we are first, and then we try it under the sun. Mm. And then, also we grind it. Grind yeah. It. Yeah. Can you smell it? I can't, but you might be able to. You have to smell it. A little, a little bit, flower. yeah. The flower. You have to smell that. I can smell that. You can smell that? Yeah. <laughs> we have like a ginseng. Yeah. Oh. Ginseng. 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 Uh, ginger, ginger, red one. Ginger, okay. Red ginger and the ginseng. Ginseng, mm -hmm. see the plant. Super yeah. Coffee, uh, super coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you don't. The red see. one. Oh, ginger, ginger, the red one. Oh wow, ginger. you can smell this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My nose doesn't work very well. Oh, uh, lemongrass. Lemongrass. Oh, mm. nice. See the plant. Yeah. And this one you can smell yeah. it as well. Yeah. Strong smells. Ah, it smells good. Uh, yeah. When you have like a problem in your uh, nose, mm. yeah, you can yeah. yeah. That's turmeric. Yeah, this is a bit turmeric. Turmeric. Yeah. This is also for seasoning, so for cooking. Very strong. Yeah. I smell it. Hmm. And also we can use for a medicine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We cut our hand. Mm -hmm. We can play to ah. and to make uh, the blood like a stop. Hello. 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 <laughs> Thank you. We got roped into having a coffee that we didn't really want because a friendly man that showed us the way to the reptile house also wanted to show us his way, the way to his wife's cafe. And then when we got here, we got a full guided tour of how they make Luwak coffee the traditional way, which was unexpected, but is very cool. I quite enjoyed that little tour. They took us through the whole process from growing the beans to how it comes out of the the actual luwak itself, how they roast it, how they dry it, how they dry it, how they roast it, how it, how they crush it, and how they uh, sift it. And now we've sat down. I'm going to try a luwak coffee, 
and then he's going to bring out a whole taster of all his traditional teas and coffees. Uh, I'm looking forward to try the coconut coffee. Avocado coffee? Yeah, interesting. Baldi coffee, interesting. Rosella tea? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Awesome, thank you. Okay, that's the right okay, coffee. Awesome. Copy the right. Thank you. Potato. Like this plain. Yes. Yeah. So can be started from here. Angostin. Angostin. Great. 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 Garlic, and the last one, uh, Bali coffee. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you very much. I like this one. Mangosteen. Turmeric. Turmeric. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> might be a bit different. Yeah, it might be a bit spicy for me. Yeah, it's got a little bit of afterburn, but. <laughs> it's like a big drink. What do you think? I like the mango steam better. Like mango steam? Yeah. <laughs> uh, lemongrass. I like that one. It's lemony. Stop eating chips. And then one. Red ginger? Red, red ginger. You, red have ginger. Little, you have a little bit. I, okay, okay. <laughs> ah, that was so spicy. I've never had avocado coffee before. Does it taste like avocado? I can't get anything, but I'm not very good at tasting things. Mm -hmm. I like it. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. It's like it's very oh, subtle. Thank you. Like, mm. Thank you. Good <laughs> smell? Mm. Mm. Different, eh? It smells different. Okay, take a glass. This is how we are. Not, it's not harsh flavor at all. It's very, very smooth, very mellow. Like normal coffee is very bitter, but this is not. Interesting. Try. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's a good coffee. What? What do you wear? The sarong. Yeah. Sarong is. That is a good coffee. Yeah. You're going to get a heart attack. <laughs> You finished it already. <laughs> okay, run home. <laughs> I will eat my chips. You eat chips. Mm. Why so many dick? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <They're> everywhere. <laughs> yeah, my buzz. It's for yeah, but, but, but they're everywhere. We see them everywhere. But it's, why? It's for fertility, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it was fun. It was interesting. We uh, got the tour, we bought some tea, and now we're going to Abud. All that I wanted to do one hour ago was going to find a restaurant. <laughs> and then we got back to her nap. Worth it. With all the coffee you had, now you can run back home yeah. and run to Kuta. Bye, puppy. Let's try to get to Abud without getting kidnapped again. <laughs> Hey, no, no promises. Hang your phone, don't leave that either. Yeah, no, take that. Something's going on, I think it might be a charge cord. We made it to Ubud. In case you don't know, Ubud is the place in which every other yoga teacher and life coach moved since watching it prayed off. So is let's say the hippie part of Bali. Um, to be very original, <laughs> we're getting vegan food in Ubud. Actually, we just passed in front of the restaurant and we are so hungry because it is. What time is it? Ah, wow, it's quarter past two. So we decided to stop eating here before finding the Ubud market. I shouldn't be because I had six coffees. <laughs> and to be even more original, I'm going to try a matcha latte. Never had one before. Interesting to see how it's going to taste. That's different. 
it's interesting. It doesn't taste bad. I don't know what it tastes like. I'm not keeping up for this. Here we go, vegan burrito. This is looks yummy. Guacamole. Nice. This is yummy. Oh, the cute duckies. Fancy shop. Hippie shop. My phone, which we use for GPS, is almost out of battery. So we are going to find us phone shops to see if we can find a power bank because there is no way that we can make it back to Kuta without GPS. The weather is getting a bit dark again. Just ready for us to get back on the scooter. Okay, we have 40% battery. Let's go. I was going in the wrong direction. The traffic is crazy. Okay. We are live at the art market, which is a very good thing. Oh, that was exhausting. You didn't even do anything. No. If I did it, we would be dead. I think it's about to close down, that's why it's quite empty. down there oh. <laughs> thank you Google Maps thank you very useful as always okay Alan is getting too much confidence in here with the scooter <laughs> We are in on the foot path. Or is it just enough confidence? Uh-huh. I think it's just enough confidence. Hello. 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 We made it back to the rental alive. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> Barely, yeah. Here is a free tip for you guys. Don't rent a bike in Bali unless you are very confident riding a bike. Bali is not the place to learn how to ride. I don't have the bike license for, well, you had a bike for mm. years and Long years. Time. Yeah. And still he struggles sometimes in this traffic. I struggle. Yeah. I struggle. Uh, I make it look easy. Uh -huh. I go over on the back wheel. Uh -huh. And please wear a helmet. This is our room in Kuta, by the way. Nothing special. Oh. Wardrobe. Bathroom. Every time we have a shower, everything gets wet. Desk and stool. And there is a pool there behind the plants. See, he drives the scooter once around Bali and he's already tired. It's more than what you did. <laughs> Me? We would be dead you, if I did it. You just sat on the back. You want to die. 